So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes. Sit back and learn. And I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Body starting to pixelate. This is going to be a long night. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card, possibly a key card from a hotel. It's an instant camera, but there's no film in it. It's a sample package of Polaroid film. It only contains one photo. Sure, I'll carry your crap. Smile. Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. It's pretty rusty and totally out of chainsaw gas. Definitely not the murder weapon. No missing body parts. Hmm. There are signs of a struggle here. This is clearly a drag mark. The victim was obviously knocked out here, then dragged over to the stream. I don't see any blood, so I think he was actually killed in the water. Sounds like someone in the sewer is playing the violin. The trail ends here at this huge rock wall. It's an empty whiskey bottle. Definitely not the murder weapon. Wrong sized body hole. It's an empty can of Crockford's tuna heads, the good parts. Dell has that fishy tuna head smell it's famous for. Is the ET game for the 2600?
is a circus flyer with a crazy looking clown on it. Pretty good makeup though. Signals are very strong tonight. What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that. But what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night. Deserted road. Me in a giant pigeon costume? It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. You almost ran over a federal agent. That's a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? Hey, if the beak fits. We don't know anything about a dead body, but the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there! Why brothers, if you're sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons, and he was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just rolling with it till he's dead. Oh, soon. Shut up, Emily. This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. That was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. That seems like a sensible approach to adventure game design. It is. It just takes a little longer and requires more thought and planning. But it really pays off in the end. I think I've had enough of you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you too. No time to talk. We need to figure out the signals. You seemed really determined. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Beep. Click. No time to talk. We need to figure out the signals. Two minds like yours should be able to figure it out. Boop. Click. Click. No time to talk. We need to. Are. You going to do this all night? Eek! Click, no time to talk. We need to... Nuts! I could really go for some salted nuts right about now. Squeak! Eek! Whack! Eek! Eek! Wazz! Wait for me! Willie's Watch and Violin Repair Shop. Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. 
We repair watches and violins for the rich or famous. Howdy! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. That's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> Damn straight, we're the feds. Whoa! Hold your horse Reno's. No need to get snippy. Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge, huh? There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at 8. I hope he's talking about on TV. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Arenos do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people arenos? Howdy who! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future who! Oh, these are the latest in crime-fighting computers made by Pillowtronics, Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> Yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain, who? Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Areno, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match -a Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Or, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Areno? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You city folk -a who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Aren't you the Sheriff Areno? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, no, no who. Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes. But we're as different as peas a who's in a pot a who. Plus, the Sheriff has that annoying Areno he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that a who. Sure. Whatever. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> hey, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, a who. Oh, yeah, almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017! I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the Sheriff and get out of here. Lots of medical books there. Four. 
It's empty. It's empty. There's a fingerprint kit here. It's a medical skeleton. Please return to Dr. Fred. Hello again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully the coroner fills you in on our state-of-the-art Areno computers. That's some very serious computing power you've got there. Yes, sir, Areno. It's all state-of-the-art computer Renos from Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. You're also the coroner, right? Oh, my, no. <laughs> no, 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 Areno. People say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas Arenos in a pot Areno. Plus, the coroner has that annoying ahoo he adds to everything. <laughs> You'll never hear me doing that, Areno. You, I mean, the coroner said something about the Arrestron? Yes, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction Areno. Every detail Areno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Right, uh, sorry Areno, I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy Areno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% Areno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer Areno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Who is this Chuck we keep hearing about? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, Reno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Reno again. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. Life must be understood backward, but it must be lived forward. So rent your ticket. There has to be something. Be day rental. 
God is not willing to do everything, but just take away our free will and that share of glory which belongs to us. Nicole Machiavelli If God did not exist, it would be necessary to invent him. Voltaire Others go astray in cases where they think they have the most perfect knowledge. Descartes no man's knowledge here can go beyond his experience. John Locke. Close program. Just a bunch of files. There's a fingerprint book here. Just a bunch of files. Wanted, Pickle Bill and the Cucumber Gang. Wanted, huh? A meteor? Wanted, Shady Jane and the Sunshine Gang. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files. Just a bunch of files.